Now that the 737 MAX is slowly returning back to service, more orders and interest are surrounding the whole MAX family. In this video, I'll dive into the 737 MAX's life, from the first order to the grounding and all the way to the recertification. Before I dive into this video, make sure to consider subscribing to my channel. Over 90% of you are not, and all it takes is one click. Also, make sure to check out my second channel, Avid Flight Simulation. Once that channel reaches 100 subscribers, I will release a brand new giveaway. The 737 MAX was publicly announced back in 2011, with the first flight of a prototype taking place 5 years later, in 2016. The first customer introduced it the next year in 2017. But before we can get into the details, let's go back in time to when Boeing was doing market research on a replacement single aisle narrowbody to replace the aging 747s that airlines were operating. Boeing was motivated to develop an aircraft at a rapid rate as Airbus had released a new A320neo the year before in 2010. At first, Boeing was considering manufacturing a brand new, clean sheet design using new technologies from the 787 Dreamliner. But with orders pouring in for the A320neo in a statement from American Airlines in support of a re-engined 737, Boeing was pressured into developing a quick alternative in a re-engined 747. They launched the project soon afterwards with a boost in an order from American Airlines for 100 MAX jets. Orders and intentions from other airlines soon started coming in, which made Boeing believe the future was bright for their newest project. Through five years of development, Boeing built the first 737 MAX, which was advertised by Boeing to have a 4% fuel burn advantage over the A320neo. It was certified by the FAA in 2017. After the first delivery, 130 deliveries were made in the year afterwards. Only two years later, in 2019, a Lion Air 737 MAX 8 crashed outside of Jakarta, and a couple months later, another 737 MAX 8 of Ethiopian Airlines crashed outside Addis Ababa. The 737 MAX was then grounded for inspection from worldwide aviation safety commissions like the FAA. After analysis, the crashes were linked to a faulty sensor that could temporarily push the aircraft's nose down in a system that Boeing had called MCAS. The development of this system was reportedly rushed and accountable on only one sensor instead of the industry standard of two. I will not go into detail into the details of the reason for the crashes, but will link a video that does. After the groundings, Boeing immediately started decreasing production of the type. At first, Boeing was optimistic for the recertification process, with some estimating just a couple months until the 737 MAX would be flying again. But after a whopping 20 months, the 737 MAX was finally recertified to fly by the FAA. Boeing reportedly changed the faulty system and implemented fixes under the eye of the FAA. But the impact the grounding has had is very clear. Multiple airlines canceled orders or switched to the MAX's competitor, the A320neo. And significantly, many customers lost faith and trust in the 737 MAX family. But how does the future look for the 737 MAX? Well, right now, it seems like most already existing airlines are starting to reintroduce the aircraft, with some airlines, like Alaska Airlines, even ordering more of the type. While the aircraft may not live in its former glory, it will definitely still be flying in the years to come. So while the future may look a bit marred, the future of the 737 MAX should be in the sky. What do you think about the 737 MAX? Was it a failure? What would you have done if you were in Boeing's position? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this short video, make sure to give it a like. And if you have, aren't already, make sure to consider subscribing. More authentic aviation content is planned for the future. That is it for this video. I'll see you in the next.